bring in the fusion comp your timeline that's under effects effects if fusion comp put your playhead on it or you can just right click on it right click on it and open this infusion page let's drag the media out to the side a bit then let's bring in a text node text plus node let's make this a single viewer by clicking on that toggle there let's close let's leave that open for now let's drag this text tool here we can open this panel here by just clicking on this effect button there to click on text let's type resolve let's change the font to gilroy kind of like gilroy a lot let's increase the size a bit so we have something of that nature let's say 0 0.15 is fine let's just give it a color go here give it kind of like this color and there we go we have a text nothing fantastic about this but let's start with the first thing you go to click on text go to shading under shading there are a bunch of things you can do here just click on gradient click on this first color here click on here you can pick a color there and then for this other color here click on this and pick that color there so we have this gradient thing going we can make it look even better by clicking on this option select elements this option two here ticking on enables here and changing the color of this to maybe something slightly brighter like so clicking on ok so if we zoom in on this now you'll see it's just there at the edge there if, if we bring a background node or we bring in a merge node connect the background node to the background point there and connect this text to this green input here and drag this to the viewer you see the edges show a bit more the funny thing about this text thing is you can also make this outline make it a gradient you just click on gradient here and pick you can pick random colors let's say we pick um blue i want this to go to yellow just go pick yellow and there we go but this doesn't really look good so we could make this start come red and so so you kind of mix the text stand out a bit so if you pull this out this text is looking better than it was that's the first tip for making your text look good gradient for the text itself and gradient for the outline next tip type resolve again Change the font to gilroy and um put the size at 0 0.15 next thing we can do is let's say we go to shading the same outline we did let's say we uncheck this solid fill we go to this and we enable this if we go to gradient and we change this to possibly red or even let's say blue this time around blue and make this it's actually looking good already with the white but let's make the white instead of white let's make it um something greenish like so this is already looking good but if you want to look a little better just bring in shift space bar bring in the soft glow let's bring that in here right now it looks a bit rough let's watch let's bring in a black background this, this is usually black by default let's leave it at that bring in a merge node connect this to the foreground and connect this background to the orange input which is the background drag this in the viewer you see how the glow makes it if i did let's say i disable this glow now i click on here so it just looks plain drag this it makes it look a little better if you go to the soft glow you can make a few adjustments you increase the glow size to 100 it just has this subtle blue thing round about it you could let's say you don't like this look you just reduce it about what it was before and just reduce this gain just a little bit the glow is there subtle but it makes it stand out if i remove it you see that just gives it one realistic look yeah the other one i want to talk about is shameless log i admit my bevel tool it's free you can check out the link below to download it and use it it just makes the text look good so this is the text right 
let's go back to here and make it fill and this outline let's just disable the outline so it's just pure white let's change the color to uh, let's just pick that color there and say okay we have that color so we go to templates if you have the tool installed you just go to templates edit effects mruc bevel bring that down here connect that here you can also apply this effect on the edit page let's say you drag that to the viewer by default we have this the default setting is not so cool so you can reduce the edge width like so then we go to level reduce that a wee bit if we go here we can also change the angle of the light just this level so it's just like barely so if we zoom in you see how it looks like this is actually 3d text but it makes it look a lot nicer than what it was if i go to this is it just flat we go here just makes it stand out and then you can change the angle of the light it's just crazy stuff let's assume i decide to now right click on this go to expression and go to this i say time times 10. okay so let's see see that beautiful stuff all right so that's um, my tool right and um, final effect i'd like to talk about is how to make this text now shake there are three ways that i can put my finger on to do that right now one of the simpler ways is just shift space bar type camera bring in camera shake click add drag that to the viewer and then play you have it shaking <laughs> you can reduce the um overall strength so we have this so it just shakes on one spot if that's what you want we can make it the speed to reduce it bit so it's kind of gentle that's how you do that easily with camera shake there are two other ways to do that you don't even have to add a node just click on the text itself you go to layout right click on center modify with turb let's go here and fit the screen see it's moved off the center already if you go to modifiers on that text now you see the strength so the first thing you reduce you reduce the strength so you're just moving round like so you can increase the speed so it gets so that's that for perturb let's say we go back here go back to this and remove perturb don't click on this to reset it right click on this again the last method is to select shake on shake if i play this out now you see it's really random we can also adjust that by going to modifiers and going to minimum and maximum let's just drag this up to almost 0 0.5 and drag this down to almost 0 0.5 to something like so so if we play this now see moving you can increase the smoothness it just makes the movement a bit subtle slower and all you can reduce the smoothness it just jerks you reduce it completely you just be jerking shaking so that's it guys that's how you can add a little jazz to your text without doing much pretty simple pretty straightforward stuff hope you learned one or two things on this one see you on the next one cheers